Welcome to Zen Mind Studio, a convergence of philosophical wisdom and the art of mental well-being. Today's topic is Twin Flames and the stages that you will have to pass to get to your Twin Flame reunion. So let's dive in. Twin Flames are incredibly strong connections and each one is unique. While they cannot be simplified, there's a pattern that all Twin Flame relationships tend to follow. This kind of relationship can feel overwhelming and even downright terrifying. Imagine how much easier it would be if you had a guide that could explain every step of the twin flame journey. Well, you're in luck. That's just what you found in this video. We'll take you step by step through the eight twin flame stages. Once you finish listening, you'll be able to pinpoint where you are in your personal twin flame journey and figure out what to do next. Let's get started with the first twin flame stage. One, yearning for the one. The first twin flame stage is one of the longest yearning for your other half. How to recognize this stage? This is when you have a strange sensation that a big part of you is missing and still out there for you to find, but you have no clue when or where they will appear in your life. You just know that you're dying to be united. This might just be an internal feeling of strong desire, or it can even manifest itself in vivid dreams, angel numbers, or other twin flame signs from the universe. Some people might not even realize they're in the first twin flame stage and spend years in ignorance. Unfortunately, this only makes this stage longer and harder to get through. So if you realize you're in it, you're already a huge step ahead. You might be thinking this kind of sounds like a drag, so I just have to sit around waiting and hoping. But that's not at all what this twin flame stage is about. In reality, this stage serves an incredibly important purpose, preparing you for the arrival of your twin flame. This is happening constantly on an unconscious level. Every lesson you learn in life and every step you take on your spiritual journey contributes to this process, helping you become the version of yourself that is ready to meet your twin flame. But you can make this process a lot easier and faster if you apply your conscious mind to it as well. 2. Meeting your twin flame. The second twin flame stage takes just a few moments, but it leaves an impression that lasts a lifetime. It's when you meet your twin flame. What does meeting your twin flame feel like? Meeting your twin flame is unlike meeting anyone else. The exact feeling will depend on your own personal experience of love. But it's always an intense experience. You could feel a spark, a vibrating energy, or a connection that is so strong it makes you tingle inside. You might feel like you're being pulled in two directions at once, toward your twin flame, who is now part of your life, but also away from everything that was familiar to you before. These feelings might hit you all at once, or they may surface gradually as you get to know the person better. They'll remain in the background at least to some extent throughout the whole relationship. This stage is all about the process of merging your two halves together into a single whole. Some even consider it the most important stage of all because it sets off everything that comes after. It marks a new beginning for you and signals that you are ready to move forward on your spiritual journey. You're entering a new reality, one where your soul is starting the process of uniting with its other half. This lays out the path of all the other twin flame stages to come. How to know for sure if you've met your twin flame. We often have romantic visions of instantly knowing when we meet our twin flame and everything snapping into place. But reality is messier and more complicated than that. In fact, you can have many connections that can feel incredibly similar to twin flames, karmic connections, soulmates, false twin flames, or even twin flame catalysts. Jumping to the wrong conclusion can knock you down the completely wrong path. You might end up wasting years in the wrong relationship, just ending in heartbreak, all the while blocking out your real twin flame. 
So how can you avoid all this pain and be sure you've met your real twin flame? We offer you to watch a complete different video with the link in the description down below where we talk about 11 clear signs of twin flame connection to get some clarity and decide if the person you just met is your real twin flame. 3. Falling in love with your twin flame. Now comes the stage where beautiful things start happening. Falling in love with your twin flame. How do you know if you're in love with your twin flame? For some, love for their twin flame slowly grows, while for others, it feels like they've known each other forever right from the start. But one thing is for sure, falling in love with your twin flame is a mix of exciting and nervous feelings. You might feel thrilled to be with someone who makes you feel alive, but also overwhelmed because this relationship will change everything in your life. In some twin flame relationships, the emotions take on a different tone than love, where the connection is deepening without any romantic or passionate desires. Why do we fall in love with our twin flames? This stage lays the foundation of your bond and allows you to explore your deep connection to the fullest. It's an incredibly exhilarating phase. Getting to know your twin flame also means getting to know yourself because they are your other half, after all. You'll find yourself mirrored in many of their experiences, hopes and fears. If your connection is true, falling in love with your twin flame should also help you fall in love with yourself. What to do at this twin flame stage? Though there is still a long journey ahead, the first few steps in the right direction can make a world of difference later on. Starting off on the right foot sets the tone for the next few phases of your twin flame journey. Building a strong bond now can determine how you handle the separation phase. It's important to maintain open communication and ensure you and your twin flame are on the same page about what you want from the relationship. 4. Rose-colored glasses. Your twin flame relationship is now entering a new phase, the rose-colored glasses phase. What this twin flame stage feels like. This stage is marked by a feeling of euphoria and optimism. As you get to know your twin flame more, you start to feel that this person is simply amazing. Your connection will grow stronger and feel more intense than any other relationship you've experienced before. The purpose of this phase is to give you the time and space to know your twin flame more deeply. You are getting a better understanding of the other person and you will start to see similarities between you. It's important not to have preconceived notions about your twin flame and to be open to getting to know them for who they genuinely are. What to do at this stage? While this stage can be incredibly beautiful, it is also a time where issues can arise. It's vital to keep yourself grounded and ask both yourself and your twin flame where you both want things to be headed. Take the time to reflect on what your connection means for you and your future together. Open communication is essential to working through issues successfully, and it's important to lay the foundation for that now before tougher issues start surfacing. Turmoil in twin flame relationships phase. As your twin flame journey progresses, the next phase involves facing some challenges. This stage is characterized by emotional turmoil as you start delving deeper into the connection with your twin flame. Differences in opinions and personality traits can resurface, triggering old wounds, fears, and insecurities shared by both of your souls. Why is twin flame turmoil necessary? While it may seem like a phase you'd want to skip, turmoil is an essential part of the spiritual growth that twin flame relationships aim to foster. By pushing you beyond your comfort zone and encouraging healing, these challenges play a crucial role in your personal and spiritual development. How do you navigate twin flame turmoil? Dealing with turmoil in a twin flame relationship requires effective communication. It's important to stay level-headed and address past traumas and insecurities with your twin flame. Looking for ways to heal together and offering each other unwavering support, even during difficult times, is vital through this challenging stage. 6. 
runner slash chaser dynamic in twin flame relationships. After experiencing turmoil, you may observe distinct roles within the relationship the runner and the chaser. Tension may lead to one partner retreating or withdrawing emotionally, while the other may take steps to create physical distance. This stage can even lead to temporary or prolonged separation, creating distress and confusion. However, it serves a divine purpose in your unique twin flame journey. What is the purpose of the runner slash chaser dynamic? The runner slash chaser dynamic emerges naturally when the universe perceives the need for space and independent growth within the twin flame connection. This stage is crucial for significant healing and self-awareness. By working through past traumas and overcoming obstacles, both partners can move forward in their journey together. How to navigate the runner slash chaser twin flame stage. Regardless of whether you find yourself in the position of the runner or the chaser, it's essential to address past traumas and insecurities. Taking time to analyze what you want and need from the relationship is crucial for moving forward and fostering a deeper connection with your twin flame. 7. Surrender and Growth As the twin flame journey nears its end, things start to settle down, a process known as surrender. Picture a huge weight being lifted off your shoulders. That's what happens once you've healed your old wounds and moved past them. Reaching this stage can feel like an immense relief as the emotional burden you've been carrying starts to melt away. For the first time, things will start making sense and you'll begin to see the path that lies ahead. This is when you accept and understand your differences with your twin flame and you stop fighting against your nature and your connection with them. The purpose of the surrender twin flame stage is amazing. As you let go of past pain and expectations, your soul expands to embrace both halves of the twin flames. This allows for deep healing and remarkable spiritual growth. It's like hitting the restart button, a chance to redefine your roles in each other's lives in a positive and healing manner. 8. Reunion and Togetherness The last stage is where everything comes together. Your twin souls merge into one, and together they create a strong bond. This is what's known as a twin flame reunion. The twin flame reunion happens when your traumas are healed, your souls are in alignment, and any problems in your relationship fade away. You'll feel like you're coming home not just to each other, but also to yourself. Your connection will feel stronger than ever, and you'll be living out what feels like a dream come true. This is the final stage of your twin flame journey, a time when you can finally start to live the life that your soul has been waiting for. It's the essence of what the entire twin flame journey has been leading up to, to embrace self-love and understanding fully. You'll fully realize that your twin flame is here for a reason, and that reason is to help you continue to grow and evolve. Here you have the phases of Twin Flame Reunion. Hope we helped you to clear your path. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful and uplifting, be sure to subscribe for more enriching content focused on nurturing a balanced mind and soul. Don't forget to hit the like button to show your support and help spread the message of mindfulness and positivity. Together, let's continue to cultivate a space of inner tranquility and wisdom. Subscribe and like to be a part of this transformative community.